Hello and welcome to the guitar lesson for I Found by Amber Run. As you may hear, I have a cold, but I'm going to add some subtitles to make it easier for you to understand what I'm trying to say. Anyway, the show must go on and this guitar is tuned down one half step. So that's E flat. And that's an E flat major, which I'm going to, in this guitar lesson, call an E. So I'm naming the chords as if it was standard tuning. And we'll start off on a G sharp minor. Just borrowing with your index finger on the fourth fret and adding those two notes on the sixth fret. Let it ring, and when it's appropriate, hit some high notes. And once again. And then the verse starts, the first verse. And here I just play G sharp minor, B, E. And the B is played second fret and then fourth frets, borrowing with your third finger or playing it like this. It's up to you. After that, we have C sharp minor, fourth fret, sixth, sixth, and fifth. Another E way up the neck, played exactly like the B chord, except you start off on the seventh fret. And then G sharp minor, and G sharp minor seven, by just lifting your pinky and hit that note. You play those chords four times. And then we have the chorus. And the chorus, I play like this. So hitting the low note with my thumb, skipping the A string, using my index finger to hit the fourth string, and then those two fingers for the second and third strings. So E, G sharp minor, F sharp, E, C sharp minor, E, G sharp minor, and F sharp. And here the new chord is F sharp, and I'm borrowing with my index finger on the second fret, adding those two on the fourth fret, and then that one on the third. And all those chords you play twice, and then we have an interlude. Just G sharp minor and quarter notes. And it's up to you which notes you want to hit. Now for the second verse, we change it up somewhat by adding strum and palm muting. So take this part of your hand, lightly touch the strings down at the bridge and play something like this. The same chords as the previous verse. Like the first verse, you only play those chords twice, not four times. And for the chorus, we have the same chords, but this time around, we use a strum without palm muting. And this time around, instead of playing that last, E down there, I played it up here, and it's up to you if you want to do that or not. The second lude is quite a bit longer, and we have the chords G sharp minor, we're still playing strum, so. And then B with F sharp in the bass, which is played exactly like the B, except you extend your index finger in order to hit that note. And it's up to you if you want to hit the A string at all, Without it, with it. Up to you and your ears. And then back to the G sharp minor. And then G sharp suspended two chord with G sharp in the bass. And I'm playing that just like a C sharp minor, but lifting my index finger and borrowing with lifting my second finger and borrowing with my index finger. So I'm lifting my middle finger. I'm getting my terminology mixed up. Sorry about that, I do have a cold. Don't judge me. Anyway, sorry about that. 
Once you've done that, we move back to the G sharp minor. And then B, F sharp and bass. Done to the E. And then C sharp suspended two without the low note in the bass. And those four chords you repeat. And once you've done that, you go back to the G sharp minor. And then an F sharp. Fairly quick changes there. But this leads us into the last chorus. And it's played exactly like the one before, but you might want to add a bit more lively strum. It's up to you and what you feel is fit the song, as always. And then for the outro, you just remain on a G sharp minor and play the strum. For four bars. And we'll say this is a fourth. You end on the one on the fifth. And that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye.